Hello YouTube and welcome to another MMD PMB tutorial and in this one I'm going to show you how to um, work with different types of textures and how to edit them. Um, some of them are very straightforward and some of them are a little bit harder to work with. Um, this one for example is one that's very straightforward. That's obviously the front, this is obviously the back, the picture's upright, so on and so forth. So this is like an ideal texture for you. But if you unfortunately get one like this, um, the only thing that I could recommend doing is doing little test pieces to see what exactly goes where. So what I mean by that is, um, and I would recommend using GIMP by the way, um, just take one piece and color it in with whatever color you want. It doesn't have to look nice, just color it in. Then go to File, Export As, make sure you save it as something else. Um, and then just export that. And go ahead and load it up on to um, um, PMD. And I think I saved the picture in the wrong folder, so let me go back and uh, get that really quick. Okay, copy that. And I think it was this one. Nope, not that one. This one maybe. Okay, this is one. I'm going to go ahead and paste that in there. Okay, so I got that up. And this one can also add sleeves, so I'll actually go ahead and um, add those on here too. Because it might, whatever I color in might change the sleeves as well. Okay, so there's that. And I'm going to go ahead and go here. And name, rename this to whatever I named it. Copy that and then paste it here and so as you can see what I just colored um, colored almost that whole entire uh, midsection black there's a little piece right there that's still pink um, so once you actually have gathered that information go back to this and you'll come to see well that means if I would color this too probably the whole midsection will be black that means these two things right here are more than likely sleeves. So to double check, let's go ahead and make uh, both of these black. Like I said, it doesn't got to look nice. Uh, this is just to test it. Then do file, export as again, and I'll make sure I go to the right thing this time. Oops, I just went back right back to the same thing. Okay, this. Okay, now save it as that, export, replace that, and then go back to this, and we press the update button, and okay, as I thought, uh, those other little things are just sleeves, so once you figure all that out, then you can actually start um, the process of editing your stuff, if you're just changing um, the color of it, if you're adding on... Um, like a picture to it or something that's a little it's a little bit different um so i'll go ahead and show you guys how to do that really quick um so let me go ahead and make a new layer here on this and we hide this and i'm just going to go ahead and i have some like little random like heart brushes in here and stuff so let's just click one of these And let's make this color different. We'll actually make it kind of like pink. And we figured out, if you remember, that this piece was um, the mid part. So let's just put it on this piece and just see what happens with it. So let's just stick it about right here. And um, this brush is really ugly, but... I'm not going to use this for the sake of demonstration because it's hideous. Um, so yeah, let me just grab another one really quick. I'll just use one of these simple ones. Let me make this a little bit smaller. Okay. 
Okay, so let's just see what that does, putting that there. So do the same thing, file, export as, save it as your practice. And then go back, oops, I didn't mean to click that. Go back to here and click update. So as you can see where I just put that and the size that I made it actually puts that on the side and it's quite large. Uh, let me go ahead and exit this really quick. So you might not want to put it there. And unfortunately, the only thing that you can do now once you figure that out is kind of experiment um, on where the front of the shirt might be. Like maybe try uh, down here, and if you want, you can even make it smaller. Uh, like I said, this is um, a pain in the butt. It's a very long process. I have never found an easier way to do it so far. Um, so if anybody knows of an easier way, definitely please uh, let me know, because I'd love to know about it. Um, so doing that still is on the side of it. It's just uh, lowered down now. And just for the sake of not making this video like an hour long, um, I'm um, going to, uh, I'm not going to um, keep going until I find it. So, so let's put it right there, do file export as. Okay, and then let's see, go back to here now and update that. Okay, as you can see, it. I am getting a little bit closer. So... That tells you that you're in the right range up here. Um, you might have to twist it, like flip it, or um, like flip the whole image and then do it. Um, like I said, I'm not going to keep going until I find it. It's going to take me forever. But that's one of the only ways that I know how to start editing um, a texture. Also, if you guys may have noticed, you may see... Um, the files that look like this, I say TGA, and this is why I actually recommend um, using GIMP, because GIMP will open TGA files, um, so if you put that on, that's the face. This works the, ex the same exact way as um, what we were just doing. So, if you wanted to, for example, um, like some of this stuff is kind of common sense on what it is, um, so if you look, obviously, um, this, let me make this a little bit smaller, obviously this right here is an eyebrow, these are probably eyelashes, uh, that's obviously an eye, that's probably another eye texture, those are probably blushes, probably another eye texture, down here you can see an ear, um, this is probably the tongue and teeth, there's the lips, so if you wanted to, uh, for example, make the eyebrows black, what you would do is try to be neat. You don't have to be like super perfect, but definitely try to be neat so you accidentally don't uh, color in something else. So if you want to make the eyebrows black, go ahead and do that. Um, let's just say you wanted to make this eye. And I'm not going to make it look all nice, but let's just say you wanted to make it red. So you just go ahead and... Um, you would color, and of course, you know, like I said, you make it look nice. Um, don't do what I'm doing, because this looks like crap. But yeah, so go ahead and color that in. And we're going to make go ahead and give it like a weird, creepy pupil. Um, so yeah, um, this is obviously the face. That's obviously going to be your jawline right there. Um... And the face works, unfortunately, kind of the same way as that texture I was just on. Um, you have to kind of guess where stuff goes. Um, the only thing that's pretty much straightforward and what's going to happen to it is um, the lip. So, like, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, I'm so sorry, I'm, I'm sick again, so sorry if I'm, like, hacking and stuff. Um, if you wanted to... Give, put lipstick on it, um, all you gotta do is just color over uh, the mouth. Like I said, make yours look nice and neat. Um, and if you wanted to add something random to it, like, I don't know, let's say you wanted to add a little weird little thing underneath the eye or something, it's the same deal as always. With the face, you just have to see what happens or where it goes. So file export as, 
I'm going to save this as something else. This one is going to be called Prat. Export. And let me go ahead now and open up a model. Okay, I was in the right folder. And you want to go... Um, onto this and everything that said the original file name which was this you would change to whatever you changed it to okay so that was her neck that doesn't look like it really changed anything so that might have been um, like a random um, like extra eye texture or something this one, okay, so as you can see, putting the thing on those eyes actually worked perfectly fine, so that actually worked out very well, and again, that'll look a lot better if you actually take your time, uh, so yeah, that's an example of what starts happening when you start doing that, um, change this as well, okay, that changed, uh, the eyebrows, and I don't think, oh yeah, we changed the eyes, paste, and there you go, the eyes changed, um, the other little things you see, they look, you'd have to go back and edit those because they look a little strange because the eyes were uh, blue, so those matched uh, the eyes. So if that does happen, you'd have to go back and change those to make it match uh, your new eye color. And once, you hit, once you've hit everything that you uh, change, you can stop uh, putting it on stuff. And then you just edit things um, as you need. Um... And then lastly, the other type of um, textures that you can work with are um, hair textures. And like I said, those are significantly easier um, to work with. And you will see why here very shortly. So as you can see, these are hair textures. So open this, and this is a hair texture for you. So... What I always do is just go ahead and delete that or erase that and just make whatever you want. Um, so I'll go ahead like use a gradient something, see how I like that. You can also change the way uh, you want this as well. You can also change the color you want as well. I'll just do something random. Uh, okay, let me try. Okay, this is kind of rainbowy. Okay, so let's just stick with this one. I'm gonna go file, export as as usual, and let me go ahead and oops. I'll just um, save this out here, export, and then back on here, I'm going to go ahead and open up a uh, hair texture, or a hair file, I mean. Okay. Whoops. Let me add that. Okay, let me copy this and make a new folder really quick. Put the texture in there and then put the hair in there. Okay, so, oh, I didn't know I pushed add on that. I thought I pushed new. Let me go ahead and uh, get that out again. Okay, 
So that wasn't the hair texture I just did, but let me actually, I forgot I made a folder for that already. So let me go and open the this one. And then um, I can go... Okay, so this is all just a daggone hair. So I named it, I don't remember already. Um, okay, I named it one, that being P. So go ahead and erase all of that. And sometimes you'll figure out the texture you made didn't really work. Um, not necessarily like... Um, it just looks bad. It just may not work with the hair you're trying to put it on because as you can see with this hair, it has a lot of different pieces to it. So don't be discouraged if, um, if you make a texture and you find out that it just looks absolutely horrible on uh, the hair you're trying to put it on. You can either try to adjust it a little bit or, um, even easier, just get, um, some different hair. So I know I've tried to make my own textures before and it, they've looked absolutely terrible and then I just came to find out it was just the hair because um, sometimes the hair pieces uh, go in different ways and it makes your texture look funny because your texture is going in one way if that makes sense. Okay, so let's see if that worked. And it did. And this actually, this texture really actually doesn't look all that bad. Um, so yeah, that actually worked out a lot better than what I thought it was going to, really. Oh, so yeah, that's what you do for hair textures. And then I forgot there actually is one more, which is, of course, eye textures. And um, those are the exact same way. Um, you open them and they look like this. And you'd edit it the same way you did the hair. Um, very easy and just make sure you save it as another um, file as usual. Uh, so I hope this video was a little helpful. Uh, sorry I'm a little scatterbrained and everything so I'm not feeling so great. But if you have any questions or if you know any easier ways to do this, please feel free to leave a comment. I would really appreciate it. Um, if you have any requests or anything, you can message me on my DeviantArt account and I will go ahead and link that. Or you can uh, just message me on here. So, again, hope you enjoyed this video, and stay tuned for the next ones.